Bless up everybody. This is Ross Jesse from Line of Judah, House of Rastafari, rastajoint.com. Anyway, I'm giving you guys an update today. Um, we got some major events that happened this week, August 2nd, 2021. We uh, have a, a monumental hearing that we had regarding a bail hearing, and the issues addressed were the exemption for religious use and possession of cannabis in Wisconsin uh, based on Wisconsin Constitution and the federal Constitution uh, and the Supreme Court decisions that are all uh, backed it up as well as many other case law. So what we have right here is a, <clears throat> a modified bond condition which the, the court addressed and they saw that the previous bond conditions prevented me from using and possessing cannabis while I'm dealing with this case. So there was restrictions placed upon me. And the court determined that those restrictions were unconstitutional and they had to be removed because there was a, a religious test. And the court determined that, uh, in fact, there is a legitimate exemption for cannabis uh, for me and other people and so the court what they did is they changed these bond conditions you can screenshot this if you want to uh, but they changed the bond conditions and it says at the bottom uh, that right now I'm not supposed to distribute or sell cannabis until the court understands uh, the purposes of that. So it changed that. So now uh, we specifically address the use and possession. So now officially uh, in Wisconsin, uh, in this case can be cited and used for Wisconsin or even uh, in federal because our case was based on federal law and, and this uh, Supreme Court decisions as well, uh, U.S. Constitution. So you can cite this case. Anybody that has a religious claim uh, freedom of religion, if you're a Rastafari, if you're not a Rastafari, as long as you use cannabis in the same way for religious use, and uh, it's according to your conscience and the free exercise of your conscience. So, that being said, uh, yes, we can possess and use cannabis for religious reasons constitutionally ever since. So, there is no real necessity to legalize anything or to turn it into a recreational uh, or even uh, the medical industry, all of that is not necessary. These things are already uh, guaranteed by our constitutional rights, our unalienable rights. So look that up if you don't know what that is. Uh, so I'd just like to let everybody know that you can use this case if you're having problems or if you know somebody, you can cite this case. Um, and hopefully uh, you can navigate through your problems and get your exemption uh, guaranteed to you as well and get that established whether it's uh, holding a job and you need to have the exemption so you don't get fired uh, whether it's uh, you know all of those things truck drivers uh, you're applying for a job drug tests um, you know it goes all the way across the board so you can uh, you can use cannabis you can possess cannabis you have a right and cite this case Case number 2019-CF-001228, uh, bail hearing August 2nd, 2021. And if you get the, that case and you'll see what was submitted, you'll be able to use that. Finally, uh, there's one more thing I'd like to address too, which is a letter that we recently put out. And today, a brother had contacted us asking uh, regarding hair and how... Sometimes uh, they want to take hair samples from you and cut, and cut your hair or trim your hair. If you're in different situations, you could be in prison or, or whatever the case may be. They try to um, prevent you from having dreadlocks or they just want uh, hair samples from you. So you don't need to go through all of those problems. Uh, so we did also make a, a letter addressing that as a proclamation from, a, from us, from Lion and Judah House of Rastafari, which you can also screenshot or you can... Check out our page, you'll find it on there. So this uh, just deals with uh, addressing the fact that, you know, when you grow your hair out, if you have dreadlocks, it's something whereby 
you don't cut your hair and you don't trim your hair for whatever period of time it is that you've uh, committed yourself onto that way of life. And not every uh, person that is of the Abrahamic faith follows things the same way. Some people uh, have head coverings within the same religion and some don't. Some people eat things within the same religion that others don't. And uh, in the same way, some Rastafari have dreadlocks and some don't. It's, uh, it's according to where you're at in your life and the path that you're on and how, how you're applying it. So if it's uh, according to your conscience and it's your path, then you have a right and nobody can cut your hair uh, without your permission. It's, uh, you can uh, sue them for that. It's a, it's a big problem. So I'd just like to let you guys know. And if you have any concerns, questions, comments, uh, just contact us. Let us know what's up. Hold the vibes. Rastafari love.